Hello everybody, I'm Marco Raglianti and I'm a PhD student in the Reveal Group at Software Institute, Università della Svizzera Italiana. Today I'm going to present our research work on visualizing Discord servers. Discord is an instant messaging and video conferencing communication platform. It supports rich media sharing in the form of links or embedded videos and files in a message, and although it was born in the gaming community, it has been widely adopted by the software developer community. Discord Dance is the tool we developed for live visualization and exploration of a domain model that has been scraped by a bot. It has been developed in Faro and it uses Rossal Tree for visualization and Discord ST to interact with the Discord's REST API. Our case study, the Faro Discord server, has 6 categories, 56 text channels and 7 voice channels. Just to give a few numbers about its activity, it has about 5 years of history, 2,900 developers and more than 180,000 messages. In the paper, we present six views in three different categories. We will now focus on one view for each of the server views and author views, and the two main views related to source code, which are code blocks view and class references view. In the channel activity timeline view, we can see a time-based representation of channels, where the height of a channel is its activity span. In a cut of this view, we can see different types of channels and how they are represented visually. For example, we can see all channels that are now inactive, short-lived channels, recently active channels, and all channels that are still active. The bottom line represents the recent point in time where the channels have been active. In the author activity status view, we can see message authors that are visually grouped by activity status and membership status. In particular, we map author type on the color and two different activity metrics on width and height. We have on the top the most active authors and on the bottom inactive members. In the middle, we can find a frontier where barely active X members can be found. Those can be further investigated, for example, with respect to questions like Why did I leave the server? We will present now the first of the two views related to source code. The code blocks view represents source code blocks as entities that are based on syntax highlighting to map the language of the code to the color and the size of the snippet to width and height. In our case study, we found 2,500 Smalltalk code blocks shared between members of the community. By digging deeper in the extracted code blocks, we come to the latest view that we are going to present. The class references view is just an example of a code-specific feature visualization. In this case, we map on the sides of the entity the number of mentions of the class in the Faro collection hierarchy of subclasses. We can see that there are 294 mentions of the string class, 212 mentions of the dictionary class, and so on. In conclusion, the views we presented and those in the article Visualizing Discord Servers have been made possible by the Discord Dance tool, of which you can see a short demo running. Here you can see some of the views we already presented. The domain model can be explored in the Faro IDE by navigating live the objects in the system. Discord Dance provides a set of predefined visualizations for live exploration of the model. Another possibility to show information about the content of entities is via tooltips. Predefined view specs can also be modified live with respect to the layouting of the entities in order to facilitate exploration. This concludes our presentation of the paper Visualizing Discord Servers. You can find more information on our website discorddance.si.uzi.ch. I'm Marco Raglianti and thanks for your attention.